What's up, my fellow book addicts? It's a me, B. Let's dive into three incredible books of the extreme horror genre. Extreme horror. So therefore, if you are for sure someone who is easily disgusted or does not like dread, uh, this may not be a book for you. And it is all fiction. I feel the need to say that. The first book is, of course, Duncan Walston's Womb. Duncan Walston is also the author of the acclaimed Ghostland series. And uh, the main character, Angel, was introduced as somewhat sociopathic, which made it seem like anyone who entered into the motel room he was in wouldn't be making it out alive. Well, in comes Shyla, a prostitute. Sociopaths and prostitutes. What could possibly go wrong? Walston hid the overall motive behind the story and Angel very well, and he brought Shyla to the motel to basically expose how this impacted his life. It is extreme, and there are some bad stuff that happens. Next, we have Playground by Aaron Bugard. <laughs> And it, just like Saw, it involves torture devices and traps. Unlike the movie Saw, um, instead of Jigsaw torturing people, the people trying to survive in this book were little kids, which made it pretty tough to read sometimes. If you can stomach it, though, especially a part involving a toilet, there is a really good survival horror story here. You really care about these kids trying to survive. And them and their parents all have their own personalities. It is... It's not some bland story. The villain, though, is the most vile villain I have ever read in literature. She makes Voldemort seems like, seem like a saint. Not even joking. Finally, a book I finished recently was Do Not Disturb by John Athen. And as you can see, it also involves motels, except this one has killer clowns in it. Colton and Stacy, uh, I think her name was Stacy, they're on their way to a wedding. Their car breaks down. They end up at a motel, very sleazy. There's no signal, there's nobody around. And later that night, psychotic clowns with chainsaws and sledgehammers show up. I would give all three of these books, Womb, Playground, and Do Not Disturb, four out of five stars. It, they were all very good stories. They're very graphic, though. They are extreme horror. All right, this is not Stephen King stuff. Like, Stephen King gets graphic, too, but I'm talking the descriptions of what happens to these characters are very, very descriptive in terms of the gore and what they feel for pain and everything. Nonetheless, the stories are fascinating and they go places. Um, I really can't recommend them enough if you can stomach them. Thanks for joining me, B. Maraca, on the book rant and the ranting skull and subscribe and share. Thanks, guys.